Hey there, Aquarius. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Whoa, that was different. Welcome in, welcome back. This is going to be a general message for Aquarius, the cross watcher, anybody that was drawn here. Take what fits your situation, leave what does not. Do not try to force it to fit. <laughs> if this is not your message, it's just not hitting home for you, try a different message. Um, we're going to start with the angel oracles here. See which angels around you. We have, in a very interesting way, the angel of past lives wants your attention here. We also have the angel of dreams. Somebody had red hair in a past life. Orange? That might be orange. <laughs> Ginger, right? Anyways, you're getting blasts from the past here in your dreams. Um, you might even be seeing it not when you're sleeping but it reminds you of something in your dream. Some of you might like the uh, remake movies or shows. Stuff with wars or kings and queens. Just like history based themes. And then, um, or well, environments. And then oh, there's something about a bridge. But it's distracting me because there was another message that I wanted to give. Uh, bridge and statue is something about like cemented structures that is connecting to your dreams. So maybe just like buildings, temples specifically. Hmm. Okay, let's see why this is coming out. I'm also getting, um, for a couple of lifetimes in a row, you've had a very similar dream that you just haven't been able to get yet. Maybe this is the one. Maybe this is the one. That would be cool. <clears throat> that would be very cool. What do we have for Aquarius? This is the fairy oracles. Oracle of the fairies. Something like that. <laughs> it's been a minute. Pure intention. Oh. Well, that's why it's going to work. Maybe in past lives you still had some kinks to work out, but in this lifetime you got it figured out. That would be why you're Aquarius in this lifetime. Anyways, the Fairy of Manifestation will help you to use your wishes wisely. Manifest your heart's desires with pure intention and for the highest good of all. Of all. Not just some. Why am I hearing that? Maybe that's what the issue was from the past lives. I'm asking the right questions. That's why I'm getting the answers. I see now. I hear you. I understand. All right, can I get one more fairy for Aquarius? Thank you so much. Purity? <laughs> They're like, sure, but it's going to be the same message. <laughs> Always trust in the purity of your heart. Look inside your heart and within it, you will find the answer to your question. Didn't I just say asking the right questions? The great, oh good. All right, so let's see. It's your amount of genuinity. It's not really the, and in the past, you sabotaged yourself a little bit here. You blotched it, <clears throat> but not, not in this lifetime. In this lifetime, you're aligned with it. You're right where you need to be. It's so like you and the universe, right? Because that's a major arcana, so that's the universe, are seeing eye to eye. It 
It was just the Four of Cups, so like, yeah, it didn't work out in the past, but um, let's talk about how it's working out now, though, because the time for that is over. We are in the timeline. You're in the high. Oh, you're shifting to your highest timeline. That's what this was. This lifetime is the lifetime that you get to act on it. Judgment. We're no longer dreaming of this. Now you are waking up and making it a reality. And then my fridge turns on right when I say that. The sun. <laughs> Quit. That's crazy. Oh, um, okay. Conserve your energy and make sure you're well rested because... You're going to be busy. You're going to need your energy here. Okay. So Libra and Leo. I just think it's interesting when they come out right next to each other because Libra used to be before Virgo and then Leo was after it. And at some point they switched them. So I always find it interesting when they come out like that. I think that's probably why Libra and Leo's together. It's like a power couple, whether it's a friendship, a romance, or even a couple of siblings always having each other's backs. You know, Libra and, and Leo, they always have this, like, inside joke, you know? Queen of Wands here. What about the Queen of Wands, the star? You know, for some reason, and maybe it's just because I'm a mom, <laughs> but I'm looking at this and I'm just kind of hearing the universe say, enough is enough. Can't we all just get along? Figure it out. Everybody just get along. I don't care what you got to do, how you got to do it if you need the space. But just fucking get along for five minutes, please. Like, that's just what this feels like. <clears throat> I almost feel like some of you are manifesting happiness all around. Like, even to people that are mean. Because it's like, if they're busy being happy... Well, then they're not busy being mean, right? <laughs> Give them whatever it is that they need to fucking be okay and stop hurting other people because that ain't working anymore. Like, enough is enough with that. But then also give the people that are hurting what they need too so that they're not hurting because, let's be honest, they never deserve to hurt like that anyways. This is ridiculous. Just blessings all around and everybody can shh for a few minutes and be happy for a few minutes. You know, it's... If only, right? If only. Oh, my God, I wish. But you're finding a way to do something energetically here. You might be tapped into something above my fucking pay grade. That's for sure. <clears throat> Moomin of Wands, Innocent of Cup. Yeah. It's the pure intention. It's the pure heart. Three of Swords and the Two of Pentacles. It's like just kind of putting the hurt on pause for a minute. Like, we'll get back to the, the things that we need to get back to. But for now, just for tonight, can we all just try to have a good time tonight? We'll get back to everything tomorrow. It's almost like somebody just kind of needs a little bit of a break. But this is much bigger than that. This isn't just a break. This is a breakthrough. I don't know if you realize that that's what this is leading to spiritually. That's what's going on here. You might just be feeling a little bit tired and you're not really sure why because you're not exactly doing anything. Somebody else could be doing something a little bit here, but that's about to be stopped. You know, there are times where the universe will put you to sleep so that you don't get hit by shit. But there are other times where actually with this one that's being sent your way, you need to stay awake 
so that it can't get to you, right? So like, <clears throat> it's almost like you're you're torn and you're just waiting for something to give you a moment, give you a breath, a fresh air, 15 minute break, you know, or a night off or something like that. Um, there's definitely a hurt that time was going to heal. And I think it's the fact that this dream wasn't coming true, wasn't coming true, wasn't coming in all these past lives. But like eventually it does. And I do think it's in this lifetime. Like you, you're starting the stuff. You're accessing the happy and the desire and the, the, it's a, it's a level of passion that I don't think. I don't think you realized it was going to feel this good, you know? But it's happening now. Whatever wasn't happening before, it's happening now. And there's new emotions because, again, I don't think you realized just how good this was. I think this is just beginning, though. This is at its beginning stages. This is going to be a long process. It's going to take time. But when you get here, do not forget those that helped you along the way. Don't forget where you came from type deal, you know. Remember the house that built you and the people that ate with you and or fed you, bathed you, clothed you, all that shit, right? But you're so pure, I don't think you will. Might not be the case for past lives, but that doesn't matter because we're in the this life now. This is the present. And you are fully aware of it. So I'm going to leave this right here. I hope this helps who it needs to, how it needs to. I love you, and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, stay beautiful.